everyone, I'm your favorite life coach, Nikki. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Today's topic, I wanna go ahead and get into 2020 resolution and not that bullshit that everyone does, but actually attainable resolution goals that you can do and give you the instruction and feedback as far as how to get that started. But before we get in, two things. So number, the first thing that I wanna go into is I have some merchandise. So as you know from the last few videos, I always tell you to grab your tea, your whiskey, your bourbon, your cognac. And the truth is, is whatever it is that you put in a cup, it should be respected. That being said, everything on here is dark, but I love me some tea. So as we're about to get started, I want you to go ahead and get your beverage. And once again, get yourself some tea, whiskey, cognac, bourbon, brandy, oop, make, said that wrong, brandy, bourbon, and then also make sure that you respect what's in my cup. And all merchandise that you can purchase will be on www.stepsinlife.co. So grab your beverage, join in with me so we can go ahead and start sipping together because I'm excited. I just want to jump into it. I am tired of making resolution goals. And let's keep it real. I'll be committed to it for like the first month, maybe the first month and a half, sometimes two of them really, really good. And then after spring is finished and everything just starts going all the way down, crashes and burns. And I am tired of making resolution goals that sound good but I don't set them up to be attainable and I know I'm not the only one so I wanted to go ahead and go into detail as far as what 2020 should be because there's a lot of stuff going on into the world and I think a lot of people forget the number one thing that they should focus on is you you need to focus on yourself so 2020 is going to be called own your shit. Yes, so everything that it is that you want to do, everything and decisions that you want to make, it's all going to circle around you. This is for all of my ladies, even my fellas too, that always end up putting everyone else in front of them and then tend to address their concerns and issues afterwards. I am giving you full permission to put yourself in the number one spot. That means block out the haters, dust off your shoulders, get rid of unnecessary opinions from other people that don't have any impact on your bills or the way that you eat. Stop striving for perfection because it's something that's not attainable. And let's go ahead and break it in as far as how to set up a realistic resolution goal and plan for 2020. Now, the key word in setting your resolution goals is for you to plan. So a lot of times you plan to, what's the most popular one? Lose weight. And you go into the gym in January and there are like three to four people per machine and it gets to a point where the people that always worked out get agitated and then start working out outside, which is just a big inconvenience. And then right towards the middle or end of February, the gym is back to normal. Stop setting yourself up for disappointment and failure. And I'm guilty of it too. I can't, I can't tell you that I'm not. I would tell you my 2018 was to purify myself and just try to get myself back in alignment. It was learning how to be a wife because I got married. Um, and then I want to say 2019, I had my own sense of health issues. Um, and I wanted to focus on not only making sure that I was good on the inside, but also to make sure that I take care of the mental. And that was my focus, was just making sure that I was clear. My 2020 is all about owning my shit, uh, smashing my damn goals and making money and just being overall happy. And you know what? When you tend to put yourself in the category of a fixer or a perfectionist, you end up making excuses for other people's shortcomings. Yep, I said it. I'm telling you, when people stop doing what they're supposed to do, stop helping their appearance by making it seem as if they're putting all the work in when realistically they haven't done squat and you're the one making everything stay afloat. Stop making excuses for other people. 
focus on you and don't be apologetic for fo focusing on you. Focus on what makes you centered. Focus on what makes you happy. Focus on what you want to get accomplished. And the only way that you're really gonna get there is to plan is to plan and I don't mean set a goal like okay I'm gonna travel to three places this year I want you to break down as far as your finances break down how you can save you want to make your goals attainable and the only way to make them attainable is to break them down into many steps and then the other safety net is to have something else built in to get you back on track in case if you start to drop off because if the reality part of it is that we're human right no one's perfect people make mistakes life gets busy life gets in the way but if you already have yourself built in with a security note and then you can go ahead and enforce that new routine in for 21 days or more, then you are already starting to change your habits, which in return is changing your mentality, which is in turn getting you to the result that you wanted to get. But the 2020 should be a year where you break down what it is that you want to make you happy. As simple as that statement is, it's fully loaded. I am giving you permission to tell people to F off. If someone is not supportive in the direction that you're going on, they're not supposed to be there to support you in the rest of your journey. Everyone is entitled to make their own decisions in life. And sometimes those decisions support us or are in, in alignment with what it is that we want to get done. Or sometimes it goes separate. A lot of times we get to a point where we really want that security blanket and then we start pulling that person back in because we're comfortable with them being on our side. But you have it where some people in your life for a season and some people are there for a permanent reason. It just depends on where they're at in their life and where you're at in yours. I will tell you that if you get to a point where your circle is changing, allow it to change. You can't make room for better people if your circle is too small and or if it's too full. I will tell you to make room because you never know who else can come bless your life in ways that you never imagined. I am telling you that you are worthy of any success that's coming into your life in 2020. You just have to put the work in and leave that door open for them to start overflowing in. All that emotional baggage that's toxic or your toxic relationships, get rid of them. Don't apologize for it. Ask yourself, when, when am I going to know my worth and not need to have it validated by other people? Value your time value who you spend your time with. If you're spending your time with someone that is just negative or someone that doesn't want to do shit with their life, you're spending all your extra energy trying to pull that person up when they're not ready to be pulled up. That extra energy could be used to attain and bust out your regular goals and maybe add some new ones on there at the same time. So be mindful as far as what it is that you want. I want you to plan out what your 2020 is supposed to be. I want you to map it out by the month, by the week, by the day. Go ahead and calibrate it with your cell phone so you can get the reminders to pop up to keep you on track. But make sure that you make 2020 your bitch. Yes, I said it. You are going to make 2020 your bitch because I know I'm about to be 20. I'm about to pimp out 2020. And those that are with me say I. Those are not, there's a door. It is what it is, unapologetic. But you know what? My happiness is worth more than dealing with someone's discomfort. And being uncomfortable when you're in a position of growing and trying to develop yourself into a better person should be the happiest time of your life. Now it's going to be a stressful time because you're going to push yourself into areas that you never knew existed. But when you put that work in, 
when you see what it is that you're getting out of it let me tell you you're gonna be you're gonna be doing that happy dance that was on my mug you see because you put that work in so I want you to go ahead like comment and subscribe I want you to put down in the comments below what your 2020 goals my 2020 goals is to own my shit and everything that goes along with it I want my business to take off I want my personal life to be on a whole new level I just want to be happy and happiness takes work and I am ready to do the work I got my planner I got my pen and I got my camera to drag you guys along my journey with me so if you're with me say yes go ahead and tap that little button on the bottom and let's go ahead and make 2020 your bitch yeah <laughs> listen I don't I can't continue talking to you guys because I need to go ahead and write up my goals because I'm super super duper excited toodles take care